All right, look at the radar. Some showers and storms developing once again this evening across the area. Here's the latest radar, and since the last time we showed you it, some more showers and storms have popped up across parts of the Tri-Cities. You notice some thunderstorms starting, trying to get going here just the north and west of Kingsport between uh, Gate City and Kingsport near Weber City there. Also some storms as we go into Washington County. Virginia just south of exit 24 and Glade Spring heading towards Damascus through the evening time frame. More of those will be likely as we go through the evening and as we go into tomorrow. More of the same, especially after lunchtime. Some showers and storms bubbling up first on the mountains and then kind of drifting into the valleys later on. We could even see some gusty winds out of the storms this evening. The reason for that is some dry air in the mid levels of the atmosphere. So when the air rises, it evaporates and cools. That cool air becomes more dense, then it falls back down to the surface with strong gusty winds at times. We call this a microburst or a downburst. Winds can be of 60 to sometimes up to 100 miles per hour. I think this time in this case will probably be weaker, generally around 60. But uh, don't be shocked if we see some gusty winds out of a storm or two this evening or tomorrow as they move through the region. Of course, heavy rain and lightning also a concern with any shower or storm that develops. Hail not as big of a threat, but we could see some small pea-sized hail. Forecast lows tonight generally in the 60s and 70s, pretty similar to the last few nights across the area. Partly cloudy and mild once the storms diminish around 11 o'clock to midnight. High temperatures for Tuesday, upper 80s, low 90s once again. Record for tomorrow is 96 and will be around 92 tomorrow afternoon. The heat and the humidity continue here through the next several days. In fact, we go another eight to nine days with temperatures at or above average in the Tri-Cities and also a pretty high heat index value. So those feels like temperatures, they're going to stay up too. Make sure you take some precautions if you're outdoors and uh, doing anything for an extended period of time. Here's the air temperatures tomorrow. You notice in the 80s and 90s through the afternoon, but look at the heat index values climbing up into the mid 90s to upper 90s across the area. And a few spots may flirt with the 100 at times as we go into the afternoon. Temperatures otherwise generally in the 80s and 90s through the next seven days. If we make it to Wednesday, that'll be a stretch of nine days at or above 90 degrees with uh, temperatures here in the Tri-Cities. Notice some strong storms possible also Tuesday, Wednesday, and into Thursday with those gusty winds. Uh, we'll head towards the weekend with a little lower chances for rain at 30% there, and uh, overnight lows dropping down into the 60s. And don't forget, you can download our StormTrack 5 mobile app to get those push alert notifications sent to you. They'll uh, be sent to your phone if any watches or warnings come out. You can also check out the latest 10-day forecast and use our live interactive radar on there as well to track the storms with us. That app is free on Google Play or on the App Store for iTunes and all those Apple devices.